The Earth's atmosphere is a protective shield for anyone on the ground. But in space, there's no escape from the power of the sun. Solar flares and other kinds of violent eruptions from the sun are very, very dangerous for anybody who's in space. The amount of radiation that suddenly is pouring off of the sun at that point jumps way up. And we can try to create certain kinds of very shielded areas that the astronauts can hide in, but even those can only offer a very inadequate protection against the level of radiation that the sun can suddenly release at those times. An extremely powerful solar storm could send the crew looking for cover. What we would do is we'd find a place on the space station that offers the most protection. Water turns out to be a fairly good insulator of radiation. You know, we do have bags of water on the space station, and we'd probably huddle some bags of water into a, into a location and, and get behind that uh, as best we could. But in spite of that danger, the same powerful burst of energy also gives the astronauts on the space station front row seats to the greatest light show imaginable. The auroras are just incredible. And there were times on my mission where we flew so close to the auroras that you could, that you could reach out and touch them. I mean, they were going right by the windows. It was absolutely incredible. The pictures really don't do them justice. They really do dance. But what you're seeing, really, is the after effect of a tremendously energetic and dangerous solar storm. These subatomic particles screaming across the solar system at just under the speed of light are getting swept up by the Earth's magnetic field and funneled down into our atmosphere. It's humbling and amazing.